People right now that are watching this are sitting in an airport or a bus stop. Actually, they're not in a bus stop because those people can't afford cell phones. <laughs> if you're in a bus stop right now, you're lucky to have a quarter to use in a payphone. And you're probably going to have a disease on your ear from using it, too. <laughs> Who uses payphones anymore? I don't know. Uh, all right. <laughs> I got to get started. Um, here we go. And you're still staring at me like, why is Clay Aiken doing stand-up comedy? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I'm thinking the same thing, too. Why am I up here when I could be blowing a Marine? Um, uh, <laughs> how are those nachos? Yeah. Tell me about the diarrhea later. Um, <laughs> no, I don't joke about diarrhea because that's not funny. That is not funny. <laughs> diarrhea is not funny, but it's smart because it knows exactly how far you are from home. <laughs> And it's like, I'll race you. I have raced, I have lost. That is not a race you want to lose. There is no trophy in that race, just a pair of dirty boxer shorts. The only thing between me and my Calvins is those nachos. I'm making this shit up as I go along, people. I'm not going to lie to you. If anyone wants to fight me after the show, I'll take you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't fight. I'm not a fighter. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not a lover either. I'm not good with the way. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend said to me one time, she goes, I want to make love seven times tonight. And I was like, all right, I got to call six friends. <laughs> Seriously, I, I even looked at Viagra. I was like looking into it. I'm like, I'm going to try this stuff. Because like it makes you like Superman, you know. It's like you 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 know you're just the, the, you're you're erectile functional. And uh, and I was looking at it and I was like, hey, I'm gonna try this. And then on the box it said you might experience an erection for four hours, and if you do, contact the doctor immediately. I'm like, contact? I'll end up banging the doctor too. You give me a four hour erection, I'm gonna put that thing in anything. I'm I'm gonna put it in the bus driver on the way to the doctor's. I'm going to put it in a birdhouse, a blender. I'm going to stir with it. I'm going I'm to I'm go down to the local baseball field and be like, batter up. Come on. Let's, I, we're guys. You give me something for four hours, I'm going to play with it for about three. I'm, I'm going to make banjo sounds with it. Boing, boing, boing. Can this go on comedy time or is this too dirty? It's, it's okay? All right. I just made you edit right now. Uh, all right. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. So, uh, I, just, uh, I just quit drinking. Yeah. Woo! Thanks for caring. And uh, I quit drinking. People are like, why'd you quit? I'm like, you know, nothing ever good happened when I was drinking. I never woke up and was like, wow, I was so hammered. I saved a bunch of orphans last night. <laughs> I never woke up in bed and like, oh my God, I'm so, oh my God, am I hungover? I can't believe I had sex with that hot model. That didn't happen. That was, not, that never happened. Uh, I, I think the funniest thing is our president's an alcoholic. Because if you're an alcoholic, you're always an alcoholic, even if you're in recovery, which means you can fall off the wagon at any moment, which I think is awesome. I would love it if Bush fell off the wagon, because then we'd have an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the world's like, what, uh, why? He's like, he's drunk. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Where is he? I don't know. I heard he's peeing on the Clinton Library. <laughs> what? Yeah, he took the space shuttle, too. Watch out. Somebody said Cuba's gone. Can you edit that one out, please? <laughs> that was a brand new one. I thought I'd wing it because you people were with me for a while. <laughs> and then you were like, not anymore. <laughs> we want the A here. Um, so uh, I was partying last night like it was 1999. I was drinking Zima, listening to Ricky Martin, collecting Y2K supplies. I, I got duct tape, who needs it? Um, yeah, I, uh, I went to a strip club. I'm not a fan of those strip clubs. I really am. Yes, I am. Um, no, I think strippers are fake though. They're not real, they've got fake names. You ever see a stripper's name? They're like Mercedes, Lexus, and Porsche. Those were the strippers' name at the strip club. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I know. And, okay. Um, 
<laughs> the strippers were named Mercedes, Lexus, and Porsche. And I was like, wow, what a coincidence. Those are your real names. Wow. And the girl goes, you're a moron. And I was like, why? She goes, those are our stage names. And I was like, well, why are you named after cars? She goes, because that's what we want. And I was like, well, wouldn't it be better if you were named after something you need? <laughs> you know, you go into the strip club and the DJ's like, gentlemen, coming to the main stage. It's education. <laughs> And on the pole, it's dignity. And get a lap dance from self-esteem. Try her out. Oh, no, you can't. She's in the champagne room going down on antibiotics right now. Antibiotics is my favorite. Ice house. That's called a plug. I got a cell phone bill. How about this? Look, are you just trying to get my attention? All right, I'm, I'm with you. I got attention deficit disorder. <laughs> Leave me alone. I got the ADD, uh, which was a good thing when I had a girlfriend because she was always yelling at me. <laughs> and she's like, you're not listening to me. <laughs> That's because I got ADD and I just saw something shiny. <laughs> Listen, I... Uh, <laughs> I got something just like ADD and it's called pot and uh, and I can't remember the next joke uh, seriously I just wing it people some comics come up here with an act and I just go yeah oh thank you cell phone I'm gonna talk about cell phones cuz I'm on one and I'm getting the light right now which means you're getting about three minutes out of me after you edit this um, I, uh, I, I got my cell phone bill the other day, $750. 750 yeah, $750. And uh, so I called them. I'm like, this has got to be wrong. And the woman goes, look over your bill. You might have some numbers you didn't call. I found one number. It was 444-444-4444. You know, I don't, I don't think I called this number. And by the way, who lives there? <laughs> That's an amazing number. <laughs> and I go, she goes, well, obviously you made the call. And I go, no, I didn't. What happened is I probably sat on my cell phone. <laughs> and she goes, well, you have a pointy ass then. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I, my cell phone, I have the worst service in the world. I'm not going to tell you the company, but... Uh, I have the worst service. I'm pretty sure all my calls start and end with hello. You know, I'm like, hello? Hey, where are you guys? Hello? Hello? Sometimes accentuate with <laughs> That's the worst when I'm on with my mom. I'm like, yeah, mom, I miss you too. Hello? <laughs> Eddie? I love my mom. I got to get out of here on something funny. Uh... I love you. I would love to stay here all night and make you laugh, but there's another comedian coming up. Yeah. So if you want to see me again, uh, I'll be outside. And uh, I could probably stand in the street after the show. I'm a very needy individual, and uh, I would do anything to get your love and reassurance and acceptance. So if you want me to tell jokes, just throw money in my shoe. Uh, no, I go to my website. It's eddieift.com. That's I-F-F-T. That's my name, Eddie Ift, I-F-F-T. And you're like, what the hell is that? You're not alone. People have trouble with my name. I gave it over the phone the other day, and I, the woman goes, how do you spell that? I go, I-F-F-T. She goes, I-F-F, -F what the hell was that? And I go, if, she goes, spell it again. I go, I-F-F-T. She goes, could you use words with the letters? You know when you got to use those words? I don't know the right words, so I get all nervous, and I'm like, yeah, it's I as in Ift. F is in ft. Another F is in ft. T is in tsunami. <laughs> you guys are smart. <laughs> I did that joke at a community college one time, and a guy goes, Wait a minute. <laughs> tsunami spelled with a C. <laughs> and if you're watching this right now in New Orleans, you're not finding that too funny. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a good night. I appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you.